I said to you guys this morning, let's do something different today on the TikTok big break, due to the fact that my young bloke, <laughs> he plays under 11 cricket, and they all come in and bowl medium pace. And I said, mate, why don't you try bowling leg spin? And you get down there, and none of the coaches know how to teach a kid to bowl leg spin. A young boy, a young girl. I grew up trying to bowl leg spin. I was terrible at it, and you didn't get any coaching along the way. So we have these two fine gentlemen to explain what is the key. Firstly, before we get to the physical aspects of it, Kerry, what is the mental side? When you're 12 years old, you're trying to bowl leg spin, and you get hit for a couple of boundaries early, and you just think, oh, maybe I should just go back to bowling the mediums. Never give up. Because once you're a wrist spinner, it's the toughest discipline in cricket. Embrace it. It's your challenge. Don't worry about synthetic pitches and, and big bats bombing you because you come to turf, you come to receptive surfaces, and the game changes. Then, you know, they're not bombing you. They're trying to defend you. If you've got the big leg rake, if you've got the big wrong one, you're in the game. We win games. We're not there to keep it tight. <laughs> yes. We're there to win games. We get Michelle's. <laughs> and that's the key. It always include a leg spinner in your team because what is he? He's a match winner. And we've got one here. We do. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get to the grip and the fields. Well, let's start with the grip, Shane. I guess that's where it all starts. Because, again, we go down to the nets and there's all these different ways. And you hear about wrongens and zooters. But let's get the basics right yep. first. Yeah. Just to follow on from what Skull and you're talking about, there's a lot of coaches that try their best about trying to pass on the knowledge of leg spin bowling. It's a very specific thing yes. to try and teach. That's not easy. So well done to everyone out there teaching and encouraging the leg spinners because they need lots of encouragement. You might bowl some double bounces. You might get hit out the park. But you know what? You always get another chance the next ball. Whether you lose the ball down a drain over the road, out the park, you still get given another one. You can still knock them over the next ball. So the words that Love Scott it. was talking about, never give up, are so true because it's hard. It's not a lot of leg spinners around, but we're seeing in T20 cricket, you bowl out the back of the hand with a little bit of mystery and not sure you're going to knock people over because not many people at the moment can play leg spin. So what is leg spin? Leg spin bowling is bowled out the back of your hand. So how do you bowl out the back of the hand and what is your grip? There are lots of different grips that people will use. Kerry was a legend bowling with an off spin grip and bowled leg spin. I bowl with a traditional sort of leg spin grip, but there's one thing that's important with the grip is I believe that most coaches will tell you to grab it. If you're an off-spin bowler like that, if you're a leg-spin bowler like that... Just show us that again. So how are we holding it? So the you're ball? holding it like... If Coming you're a leg-spin bowler there. like this, with two fingers down, two fingers up like that, you put it in there like that. Or you're an off-spinner like that, left arm orthodox like this, a lot of coaches will tell you to grip it really tight. Really tight. Don't grip it tight. Spread your fingers and get it tight. The reason I don't like that... Mm. is because what does that make you feel when you hold it tight? Edgy, you're tense. tense. Yeah. You're up tight straight away. So you're already standing at the top of your mark. It's hard enough as it is. Now I'm going to have to try and bowl, and I've got this. So I've got tension through my whole body. Try this. Everyone's got to work what works for them. Mm. But just try this. Hold whatever your grip is. If you're an off spin, left arm ortho or leg spin, have it nice and loose because that means you're nice and relaxed. And that gives you the opportunity then to be able to release the ball with a nice relaxed body gives you more of a chance. Okay. Can I can I see that again with me? Because that looked to me looks like a meatball trap between two <laughs> sausages. <laughs> well, well, do you need large. to have sausage roll fingers as part of the caper or not? <laughs> well, it's leg spin bowling is also wrist spin. Right, yeah. So I've got quite big hands, I've yes. got quite big wrists, but the easiest thing in there is to just sit in there like that and you don't have to have big hands to make it work. Um, it is harder when you're younger to try and get because leg, to try and get that extra flip and spin on the ball. So once you put the fingers in like that, that finger does all the work. So this finger here, I'm not sure if you can see that there, that flicks the ball like that. So the ball will come out like that, leg spin. So that's how you flick it. And then the more you can do that, as fast as you can do that, and as hard as you can do that, that's your practice. So if once you've done your homework at school and you're watching TV, have a ball in your hand and just do it like this. Just go, right, I'm going to practice because that gives you a feel. And by doing this all the time in your hand, in the lounge room, in your bedroom, wherever like that, when you come out here, it's just the second nature of it coming out of your hand. Okay. I'm going to play the role of the batsman here. So we'll, we'll use the reverse end of the pitch. So this is the next question that uh, my young fella asked me. Kerry, you start first here. I'm the right-handed batsman here. You're coming out to me here. Where are you trying to pitch the ball? 
I'm trying to pitch it on middle stump because I wasn't a big spinner. My my best ball was the one that that zooted on. Right. And Morongan. So I'm I'm aiming at off stump and middle stump. Warney will will because he's a big spinner is aiming outside leg a lot of the time. I'm ch I'm I am focusing completely on your middle stump and your off stump. Okay. Be because I want to create a full shot from that with you defending those stumps. What okay, I like so about... if we get the if you get the camera right round behind here, Shane, because I know you've got some theories on this as well. So if the camera moves round behind Shane, so we can see the stumps clearly, Shane, you're coming as a right hand bowler. You've got some interesting theories, and you were explaining this to me before. I yeah. love what you were saying about where you're trying to land the ball. Yeah. So just to follow on what Skull's saying, if you don't spin the ball enough, and you're not sure where to bowl, they give you three clues. They're called stumps. So not just one, they give you three of them to aim at. So the three stumps is what you should be aiming at. Now, when you play, sometimes the ball will spin. So where do I pitch it if the ball's spinning? If you always are trying to hit the top of off stump, that one there, there, if so you're always here. trying to hit the top of off stump and the ball hitting that and the ball's spinning this far, well, that means you bowl that far outside off stump. If it starts to spin big like this, you bowl out there if you're an off spinner coming in. If you're a leg spinner, you still want to hit the top of off stump. So if it's going straight and there's not much spin, like Skull said, you pitch it on middle stump, middle and off, to go straight on. But if it starts to turn, then you start to go a little bit, you go middle and leg, leg stump. So you get Howie batting, trying to play through mid-wicket, and the ball's spinning across to try and always hit the top of off. So however far the ball is spinning, whether you're spinning it into the stumps, away from the stumps, always try and hit the top of off stump. And that dictates how far you pitch outside these stumps. Which is a great explanation, because we hear from our coaches, for the medium pace bowlers, top of off stump. So what Shane and Kerry are telling you is exactly the same thing. You're still trying to hit the top of off stump. Now, this is the next thing that I see in junior cricket. The leg spinner comes on, and he doesn't know where to set his field. Now, Shane, you've set something up here. We'll bring the monitor over, and we're going to show you two fields now for all you young cricketers, and to be honest, club cricketers, they're playing at the horrible level that I play at. You think, well, where do I put my field? So, firstly, you've got the field, Shane, when the bowler comes on. If we've got the monitor over the back there, guys, we can bring that in here, and we can have a look at it. Old mate on the monitor, he's just gone to sleep. So, yeah, don't worry about so the just monitor. The, here's the easiest thing for the captain to decide. If you're spinning the ball away from you, Howie, yes. and you've got nine fielders, there's a keeper on your bowl, that makes 11. So you put four fielders on either side, and whichever way the ball is spinning, you use the extra fielder. So if it's spinning away from the bat, you put the extra fielder over there, so there's five, and you, if, if it's going into the yep. bats, when you have them on the other side. So but, this but is the field. At, so, but you've got two fields, so you want to start with a field when you first come into the bowling attack. Yes, so this is when you first come in here, this is when you first come on. What is your first objective as a spinner? That is, stay on. So you've got to give yourself a little bit of protection. There's no point having three or four men around the bat. You score easily, then you start to retreat. So once you start to settle in, then you change your field. You bring the, the big backward point up into the ring so there's no singles. You bring up the extra man into mid-wicket. So you've only got one man protecting that deep square leg you can see on the, on the picture. That is, if you do drop one short and they try and whack you around, or the big slog sweep, you've got that man there. Otherwise, you've got your extra cover catching, you've got a slip catching, and you're just allowed to bowl. <laughs> Wonderful explanation. We'll get back live now. So, Kerry, mm. you come into the attack. You're 12, 13, 14 years of age. You're a bit edgy. Your first couple of balls, you don't quite hit it. Bang, they go to the fence. This is where we get back to the mentality and the strength of mind required to do this most difficult art. What happens when you get hit early? You forget what happens. You, you don't worry what happened early in the over. It's what happened late in the over that counts. You're there to take wickets. If you're none for eight off two, your field should give you the best opportunity to take a wicket with the next four balls. That's why even though if the captain says, oh, I'll put a few people out, don't because you are attacking. You are not a defensive weapon. I'm attacking. I want catches in place. I'm getting people out. That's my job. How did you maintain that level of confidence, Shane, even at your level? Your, your first test match is a perfect example. Ravi Shastri got into you. You had uh, none for a lot. Yeah. How do you keep staying positive? Because, again, I see with the young kids in the nets, they get hit a couple of times early, and again, it's like... Gee, maybe I should roll out those medium paces again. And then we lose the leg spinners, yeah. Kerry. Well, uh, I think a lot of people will try leg spin because they always try it in the nets at a young age. Then they get to about 15, 16. They realise how hard it is. 
And if you don't have that love, if you don't have that encouragement from the coaches and captains, they turn back to medium pace because it's easier. Yes. If I could, if all of us could just say to people out there, young boys and girls, please stick with it. There is an opportunity at the highest level now to play international cricket for a leg spin bowler. We're crying out to see more leg spinners in international cricket. We're seeing a lot of them in T20. Let's see them out here in test cricket. So you, the not never give up attitude. If you're getting whacked around the nets. Don't. I don't want to see this. Oh. Yes. It's not going well. The old no. kick the thing, drag the body lag around. I'll oh, just come in and run in a bowl fast. It's easier. Stick with it and be patient because it is the most satisfying and rewarding practice to do. When it practices and it comes off in a match situation, it is so rewarding, Howie. And, and Warnie, always have a first slip. I know you get bombed square of the wicket both sides, but if you're a right arm leg spinner, turning it to right arm batsman, if the if the captain says, "I oh, will do over the slip," don't, because yeah. you're looking for outside edges. Yep. You're looking to 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 get the nick. And without trying to get it too far advanced, always have a plan in anything, whether you're a batsman, bowler, whatever. But as a specific as a leg spinner, Howie, have a plan. Look at the batsman. Look at his grip. Look at how he bats. Does he stand open? Does he look to sweep? Does he like to drive? Does he use to use his feet? That'll dictate some sort of plan to you rather than just letting the ball go and hoping the batsman makes a mistake. Have a plan. Very briefly, we've got 30 seconds before the break. Oh. If you want to get fancy, Dad, how do I bowl the wrong one? How do I bowl the wrong one? Shane, you've got 20 seconds to show us how to bowl the wrong one. Again, the grip, what are you doing in the ball? Okay, so the same grip should bowl with each ball. This finger does everything. Leg break comes out like that. Top spinner like that. Wrong and goes further. Show us that again. Rick, so come, look, come here right we go, ready. Here so we leg can see spin, it. like that. That's your leg break. Then you can just turn your wrist a little bit more to go straight over. That's a top spinner. Then if you want to go a wrong and further, you just turn your wrist around a bit more, and the finger does the work, and the ball comes out like that. And then you've got all sorts of ones like a foot bar and other stuff too. Now we're Howie. getting fancy. Well done to you two gentlemen. I think the main takeaway there is if you want to bowl leg spin, it's going to be tough, but never give.